everybody, my name's Garrett and here's a review from Mob.org. Well, let's go. Today, we have another representative of the RPG genre, and, oddly enough, it really is an RPG. A hack and slash RPG to be precise. The most prominent representative of this genre is the Diablo series, the unforgettable brainchild of Blizzard. And, if you've played it, you have an idea of what we'll be talking about. Welcome the game, named Isabel. First, a few words about the difference between an RPG and a hack and slash. In an RPG, the most important element is the role you play, the character's life, dialogue, and decision making. While in a hack and slash RPG, the battle systems and skill upgrades come first. So it was in Diablo, so it is in Isabel. At the beginning of the game, you choose who you will play as. The game doesn't really distinguish itself with a variety of classes, there are only two of them, a witch and a warrior. As you can guess, the witch is a character for long-range combat, and the warrior is intended for close-up brawling. Besides, I think that there is a slight imbalance between the two classes. As a witch, you rush about the area, aiming at enemies with different kinds of magic, but you only have to despondently tap the attack button when you're a warrior, and sometimes drink a health potion. As many RPGs, the game has a plot. It is, in fact, that a bad time came to a kingdom and only a hero, that's you, can save people and beat up the bosses. And now about the graphics. Well, the graphics are good. One can see that everything is drawn very well and very carefully here. The design of the levels, at least the first ones, made me happy. The locations are lush, filled with objects, there's no feeling of a lack of life and emptiness of a surrounding world. Even the grass is moving in the wind. The gameplay lies in exploring the maps, slashing enemies, and upgrading your character. And collecting things, of course. There are a lot of things falling out all over the place, and your stock is divided into multiple categories. One for armor, one for weapons, and so on. Obviously, you level up when you kill different beasts. You can gain new skills from one level to the next, and become the cool man and go on to success. As you see, the system is classic. You've seen it in a dozen games, and, nevertheless, it's still quite interesting. Talking about the controls, it's set up with the help of different keys on the screen. Run with the joystick and attack by tapping a corresponding key. Spells and skills are applied in a similar manner. You can pick up gold or items by tapping on them or simply by running over them. All right, let's sum it up. The game isn't distinguished with its originality, but I haven't seen anything terrible in it. The only thing is that it takes quite a bit of time to download, but on the whole, that's nothing. It's a good representative of its genre, and there aren't too many games like it on mobile devices. Moreover, there's no donation. None. As the game description says, you can't buy victory, and it's true. That's all for today. Subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and share with your friends. This was Garrett. See you soon.